Hello guys, my name is JP. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we're going to try to send a Kerbal to the moon, hopefully. It's most likely going to be a one-way trip for the poor little guy, but uh, we did land on the moon successfully. Well, we got into orbit. We got a satellite. And let's face it, I probably could have landed had I, uh, the proper timing and equipment. I mean, we're so close to it. Like, it would take nothing to land from there. So, I'm going to skip the middleman and go straight for a... hopefully a lander. So let's see what I've got saved up. See if anything is even useful for this. Uh, I know I've made at least one lander design. But it was too big. It doesn't work. Uh, that was the one. I think you've seen it in orbit. It's just stuck up there as high as it could get. So I'm going to take the science satellite and modify it. Because this worked. This design worked pretty good. So what I'm going to do is... I think really if I just put... If I just put... Uh, landing gear on this thing, I could probably go ahead and land it. So I will go ahead and do this first before we do my Kerbal. Uh, I guess like this makes sense. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Because I'd rather make sure this will work. Because as of right now, the only the only extra weight on this thing is the landing gear. The struts. So in theory, this thing can make it just fine. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if anything needed to be adjusted. Everything seemed to work pretty good. Yeah, honestly, if it worked, I'm not going to mess with it, because it worked. Uh, do not mess with success. The only thing I really want to do is add RCS. Which, yeah, I guess is a necessity for landing on a... landing on the moon. But that's no problem, that shouldn't add too much weight either. On top of the fact that we have... Where can I put this? Okay, that worked. That's fine. On top of the fact that we have an SAS on it, and it does have solar panels. Uh, let's see if adding any more solar panels is going to be too much weight. No, it'll add 0 0.02 to it, so that's fine. I'd like just four extra solar panels, because it seemed like last time, uh, a lot of the time when I was burning, it was burning away from the sun, which was bad, because these... Only point forward. So... So we will rename this one the Mooner Science Lander. <clears throat> oh, caps lock. You... Scumbag... Key. My keyboard does not have a light or anything that shows me when caps lock is on. So I'm constantly accidentally leaving it on. I don't even know... I don't remember why I'd ever touch it. I don't use caps lock. It's not like I go on forums and post angry things with caps lock on. So let's see. We've added the weight of the RCS. Let's see how much that is. 0.55. Eight of the thrusters. That is an extra... Uh, every two would be a one, so... It's an extra 0.4, so we have an extra... ton? Almost? Damn. Cause that's what every one is, right? A ton? Jeez. That's that's a lot of weight, actually. So let's hope this thing can make it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can, what with these... the booster stage. It seemed to really help. Mm, so, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go get this thing into orbit and everything. 
Because that's... We know it'll get into orbit. We've seen that before. No problem. So I'm going to get this thing up there. And I will see you... For the, for the fun part. We will hopefully be landing on the moon. This will be purposely cut. I'm going to, you know, show you I built this thing. I'm going to get it up there. Uh, hopefully get it over to the moon. And then land it. Either way, you'll come back and something will have happened. Either I'll have failed horribly, or we will be about to land on the moon. Because I want to make this a, a two-mission episode. I want to get this done, and I want to get a Kerbal down there. Up there? Down there? I don't know. Anyways. So I will see you back in a minute, hopefully. Alright guys, I'm back. Like I said, skip the boring part. We have achieved a... a moon encounter. I had to use a little bit of the RCS to fine-tune the... the encounter. Which... what the hell's going on? It's going down. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna question it. But, uh, having RCS is... is... is it's amazing. Being able to fine tune my my flight finally, so let's go ahead and uh, get up there. Why wait? All right. As soon as I get in the encounter, I can go ahead and make adjustments so I can land. Although it's looking like I might be landing by default. Where is it? Oh man, yeah, it's coming in close. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Alrighty, uh, we want to hit the periapsis, obviously. This works easy. That maneuver, bring it down. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll do fine. Well, I guess it makes sense to bring it in as close as I can right now, so I don't have to worry about it later on. Uh, oh man, it's it's a huge adjustment. This thing's really finicky. Forty thousand. Just touch it. Thirty thousand, ish. Want to get to like yeah, that's good. Fifteen, sixteen, anywhere in that range. All right, so now we want to line it up. I'm on kind of a weird angle there, but I guess it's fine. It's not like this thing's ever going to get back up. I have no intention of this thing ever coming back. Although that would be very sweet if I could, because then I could uh, get the super science for it. The extra science for uh, returning the thing instead of just transmitting it. So let's go ahead and... oh. I'm not going to do that real time, that's for sure. It's an hour and a half. Ain't nobody got time for that. Much better. Oh, shh! I missed it. Okay, it's fine. I hope this engine has enough fuel left for this. Well, this one was... About a... Oh, damn it, it did just end. Oh, this is... Boosters? No, that's not what I want. Yeah, I didn't have to use the boosters this time. The uh, I do not want those. That would be bad. Alrighty, let's try this again. There we go. Twelve seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cut. Let's see if we actually. Oh, we got. We almost got it. Actually, it's not bad. A little off, but I can adjust that a little. Tiny, tiny burn. Bring it down to within 20 at least. Uh, 16 is good. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. 
and do it here on the periapsis. Bring it in. That's about what we want. Pretty much a dead stop. Doesn't have to quite be dead. Uh, I think I can do 500. Uh, that'll have to do. Any steeper, any sh more shallow an angle than that, and I'm going to start having problems with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and flip this sucker around to there. And 38 minutes, so let's go ahead and fast forward. Not quite as fast this time, I don't want to miss it again. That, uh, that was unfortunate. I probably wasted quite a bit of extra. I probably quite have wasted quite a bit of fuel messing up, messing that uh, burn up, or the timing of it, anyways. Stop in at about a minute, so I can fine tune things. Ten minutes out. Oh, it's fast. Five minutes out. Four, three, two. I get nervous. It's making me nervous. Luckily, it's too cold. In it's too cold in here for me to be sweating. It's like 40 degrees in my house. It feels like I'm in space. It's so freaking cold. Like I feel what the kerbals feel right now. Luckily, this is not a manned mission, so I would sympathize for this little guy. The satellite, however, can go to hell. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing this. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, bring it down to... 400's good for now. And I can go ahead and get rid of the maneuver, because from here I can do it myself. Basically, we just want to uh, start bringing it down. Right now, the orbital speed is 375-ish. So when I Oop. you're out, I just got to keep my. I got to keep on it. I got to keep on that. As long as I burn. Directly opposite of this, or you know what I mean. Directly opposite of the way I am going, I should come down just fine. Halfway down on the fuel already, though. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and enable the RCS. That I can go ahead and play with. I'm going to keep it on just a little bit. I'm going to rotate just slightly. Alright, there's good. So that when I uh, go left or right, it actually goes left or right, not at a weird angle to it. We are at 30% fuel, just about cutting it kind of close. <laughs> Looks like we'll have this though. Okay, now we're at surface speed, so now we can go ahead and uh, mess with the SAS, or the RCS instead. Because I got plenty of that. Coming in a little hot though. So I do need a little bit of thrust. Once I get to under 100, I can cut one or the other. Under 100 uh, meters per second, that is. Uh, I have more RCS than fuel, so I will go with 
burning the RCS for this. More of it. And it's more finely controlled. Because as it is, we're probably only a couple thousand meters up. Because that's just how it works. I think the... what is the zero... The zero of the moon is at like 5,000 or 4,000. Unless you're like way down in a crater. Alright, I'll stop when the RCS is at 20. And switch back to fuel. Okay. Cut the RCS entirely for now so I don't waste it. I only have to maintain a speed of about 20 to be able to land, which should be easy enough. Although it's looking like we were a little bit... Maybe I was wrong about where the altitude is. It'd be really nice to have a uh, radar altitude, like how you have in a, in a cockpit on these things. <laughs> that would be useful right now. We're coming in pretty much straight down now, so it's, it's all up to just landing. Coming in a little hot. Throttle up. Just a tiny bit. This will be my first moon landing in career mode, so it's a little bit of a big deal for me. It's one of those things I didn't quite consider feasible when I started career mode. Re-enable the RCS, uh, fine-tune some some landing speed. Ease up on the throttle. 20 is a perf perfectly acceptable landing speed for the moon. Fine-tune more with the uh, RCS. Here we come. If I can come in at about 10, that's pretty much perfect. And cut it. We are good. We are on the moon. Oh, don't flip over, you piece of crap. Okay, we're good. We've landed. The beagle has landed. Alright, so let's... Let's do the obvious. We want the science. Okay. Observe the goo. Keep it. Actually, where did it say we were? Over what? Moon Midlands. What is this, England? And I guess I don't have any other science things to do because I didn't bring a Kerbal. Uh, I can't do a crew report or an EVA report or a surface sample, unfortunately. So I'm sure all of those would give me quite a bit of science. And we just barely made it. We have <laughs> 9.84 units of RCS fuel left, 22.36 of liquid fuel, and equivalent oxidizer. But let's go ahead and transmit the data back. Luckily we are on the light side, so we have, we have proper power here. And we're good. All right. So let's go ahead and head back to the Space Center and see how much science we finally have. And if I have to, I'll come back and do these a couple more, because they'll still keep giving me until it's... Oh, hey. <laughs> the fine dust of the moon has intermixed with some of the samples. You have a sneaking suspicion that they'll never be able to get the lab clean again. Nice. But yeah, I can do it several times until right, until it just stops giving me any, really. So I'll see you back at the Space Center. Alright guys, we're back here at the R&D Center. And we have 101 science. I can save up for, say, some of these. 
Or I can save up and get the 160. And get like the better solar panels. Some of the other things. Some of the, the better landing stuff. The heavy stuff. Uh, the big stuff. The specialized construction parts. The, you can finally have uh, docking and such. Although I don't really think I'll be using that too much in career mode. That seems a bit excessive. Uh, some extra pods. Lander can, the large SAS, the large parachute. Stuff like that. Or I can go ahead and get the the Rockomax X200. The, the smaller of the tanks. Not the smallest one, I don't think. But the smaller one. Uh, the 220. Rocco Max Poodle Engine, which I could actually, I could probably adjust the design of the of the lander to accommodate these parts, or I can get uh, some advanced flight control parts, the inline cockpit, the advanced SAS, the the du deluxe winglet, and the little little tiny proby thing. Or I can get a ladder and the thermometer. The thermometer, I imagine, would help with getting me more science, though. But I will leave that up to you guys to decide what I get. For now, I need to come in here and adjust the design just slightly to accommodate a Kerbal. It's pretty much just replaced this with the command pod. So let's see if that'll work. Because there's nothing on here. There's just the uh, transmitter, some solar panels, and batteries. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I hate when it does that. Let's see if I can grab it from in there. Haha. Got it. Okay, just like that. I don't have to worry about ladders, because the Kerbal's the uh, little jet pack, the RCS pack they have. Uh, here, I can have them float and grab it and be fine. I tried it out in in uh, sandbox mode at work. Well, completely different design. This isn't anywhere near what it was, but pretty similar. Well, let's see. Solar panels are fine. I should probably move them up, though. Well, he won't be able to get in and out, so that's not good. I'll put six solar panels here instead to make up for the four that aren't up there. Uh, I'll stick a... the cheapy one. The only difference is how long it takes to transmit, really. And we have the science bits. At least the ones I have, anyways. Uh, the lights are good. It's fine. Well, what seemed to be the difference is I need to have the boosters one stage down. Because as you saw, they were just extra. I had to ditch them. Here they'll help, though. Uh, that was the stage where I did run out of fuel. If I use these as initial acceleration and then this as the burn, that'd be fine. Oh, phone going off. I have to check that. Anyways, let's go ahead and, well, it'll be like last time. I'll, I'll cut you to the good part. You've seen me launch these things hundreds of times by now. How many times? Fifty? Probably at least. So many episodes of this. So anyways, I'll see you when I'm ready to land on the moon, pretty much. So, be right back. Alright guys, I am ready to go. I am in orbit. Barely. I think it's worse than last time, honestly. Uh, I should have left the boosters up there, but I did use them this time, so. I don't know what, I don't know what was so different about last time. It's like I just, I didn't need them. I don't know what the deal was. Uh, I have a lunar encounter ready to go, so let's go ahead and get to that. I, I actually used, yeah, I used a lot more of everything this time. So we'll see how this works out. If it works out. Let's not derp this one up either. I think 
if I do it right, if I don't mess up with the fuel, <clears throat> if I don't screw up the uh, the burn with the timing, I don't know why it fast forwarded so far. I don't, just wasn't paying attention or something last time. But this time, uh, let's be a little bit more careful about it. Incoming in three, two, one. Whoop. Let's go ahead and slow it down to one for this. Get it on the periapsis, of course. And this time we can just probably go ahead and bring it straight down. Uh, no screwing around, because that is already the light side of the moon. We should be fine. Yeah, this is a, it's much easier than last time. I only have to burn... Uh, 354 instead of like 500 it was last time, I think. It's a piece of cake by comparison. Uh, let's go ahead and bring it around. Right there. And fast forward. Hopefully not too much this time. Ooh, slow it down. We'll just keep it like that. I don't want to. I don't want to overshoot it like last time. That was like half my problem, I'm sure. 12 second burn, really? I can do that. Right there. Oh yeah, seriously, 10, 12 second burn. It's crazy. Well, I guess I should have done it this way. Oh, damn it. Stupid thing. Let me... Finish this off with this. <sighs> Almost had it. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, it's pretty close. What messed us up was the engine ran out of fuel right in the middle of the thing, but other than that, it's fine. And for here, we can just go ahead and start coming down, really. I do need to keep my eye on the altitude, though. It's kind of important. Alright. Uh, a little farther. Okay, 40 ish is good. Go ahead and start retro burning. I'll slow it down to about 300 with this burn and then let it come in some more and slow it down again. I think that was the more efficient way to do it. Okay, 300-ish. Go ahead. Give me the gear. Okay. Uh, I won't enable... Well, I'll enable RCS now, I suppose. No, because then I'm gonna then I'm gonna be burning it with all little twitchy maneuvers like this. Okay, keep on the throttle. Nah, it's too soon. Way too soon. I'm gonna be burning it out if I do that. Wait till about 15. This is what I did last time. That worked, so let's not screw with that. 15. Okay, we should have this pretty easily. Uh, is the other one anywhere near here? No. Oh man, we can see there. We can see Kerbin this time. That'll be kind of trippy. Ooh, we need to throttle up like crazy. Coming in way too hot. Way, 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 way too hot. Gonna cut it close here. Okay, we got it now. We're good now. That was that was kind of scary there for a second. Okay, we're good. That was scary a couple of seconds. 
dropping like what eight thousand. We were still going three hundred meters a second. That could have ended very badly. All right, we are on the sweet spot. Stay, stay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, ooh, kind of close on the fuel again. I'm gonna play with the RCS a bit. We got plenty of RCS. Just hold the RCS. He seems unusually happy. He seems unusually, especially since it's Bob. Isn't he usually the one that's kind of freaking out about this kind of thing? He seems pretty calm about this. If it was Jebediah, we all know what he'd be like. He'd be having some of his life. Unfortunately, he's stuck on a satellite in the middle of nowhere. Someday we might go try to get him, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright, we should be able to bring this in on RCS. Uh, yeah, piece of cake. Ooh, a little rough. We're good. And we're down. Nice and easy. Cutting it really close on these landings, though. Almost no fuel and no RCS left. But uh, let's go ahead and do things. Crew reports. Keep it. That's what we came for. We came to do science. Let's do the science. Keep it. Mystery goo. Keep it. And the other goo. Keep it. Well, it's time to go outside, Bob. Time to have some fun. Uh, EVA report from right here. Because that's from just above. Not that I can do it again later on from on the ground. Ooh, hey, he landed pretty fine. Okay, he can take a surface sample. Keep it. Uh, we can go ahead and plant a flag to commemorate our first man landing. Let's go ahead and uh, call it the first Kerbal on the moon. First Kerbal on moon. Bob. Bob. Kerman. 12-6-2013. Yes, I'm recording this three days in advance. It's no big deal. Uh, there we go. Alrighty, and... Oop, get out of the way. This is the tricky part, getting back up there. Whoop. Uh, 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 uh. It's kind of hard to do without a ladder. There we go. Board. And we can go ahead and transmit these. Transmit all the things. Let's watch the resources. See what happens. Because these uh, solar panels aren't actually in a very good place. Most of them aren't even getting any power. And the ones that are, they're like trickle charging. 0 0.5, 0 0.05 even, 0 0.2. Yeah, we're getting minimal power. Oh yeah, we just barely finished that transmission. Almost no power left. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more EVA report from actually on the ground. Float down, nice and easy. Go ahead and do the EVA report from on the ground. Keep it. And let's go back inside so you don't, you know, die. Kerbals have a habit of dying for some reason. Oh, uh, oh, uh, hey. Watch it now. Oh, stop hitting it. Oh, what are you doing? 
Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Get on there. Yes. Nicely done. And we will have to wait for it to recharge, but other than that, we're good. We have landed on the moon. We have performed science on the moon repeatedly now. Where is the stupid... It's like straight up. That's why I'm not getting any charge. <sighs> yeah, I guess I should have put solar panels on at least three sides up here. That would have helped. Because it is, these are getting little to no power. Yeah, that's not very helpful. If I turn the lights on, it's even worse. Anyways, that'll do it for today's episode. I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is JP. Don't forget to pick what I use my 100 science for. Uh, I realize I probably have 160 now, but I want you to pick what I use the original 100 for. So you can pick any of those uh, the remaining 90 point ones. Anyways, thank you for watching. My name is JP, and I will see you next time with more Kerbal Space Program.